Florida away to Wick. Not even left the harbour yet, so I'm Minky Will. There it is again. It's the third time it came up. It's way too far away, I think, to come up on the camera. We're still not even past the headland. We're seeing so much. We've seen like two Minky Will and a harbour porpoise, but unfortunately they're only like coming up once, so we're not really getting it on the camera. But that second minky whale was so, it was either really big or it was a fin whale or it was like really close to the boat because it was huge. You see here? Okay. It's a porpoise. Okay. Do you see that? This is a handy little sign. So I think that, oh, whiskey. I think that the whale I saw coming out of the harbour was a say whale because it was so big or it's the biggest minky whale I've ever seen in my life. Um, we also have seen some harbour porpoise, so we've seen two, I think one say whale, one minky whale, a couple of harbour porpoise and we saw two common dolphin which decided that the boat was not interesting enough for them. So yeah, we've moved inside because it's uh, a little bit damp and chilly outside so I think we're gonna sit here and Paul's gonna go get himself a sandwich. Sandwich? Sandwich. What do you spot Captain Whiskey? What do you see? It's quite rocky. I've taken my own to see sickness meds but I'm having to stand up and look at the horizon as much as possible because I can feel it. So uh, yeah I think we've still got just over an hour until we dock, it's a bit of a longer ferry. This one, I think it's two hours, 20 minutes to get from Stornoway to Ullapool, but from Tarbert, no, you to Tarbert, it was an hour and 40. So it's a bit of a longer ferry. But I hope we see something else. Like, I feel like since we got into like the Minch proper, we just saw those two, two common dolphin and then nothing else. So maybe when we get a bit closer to the mainland, we'll see some more. Just saw two, I think they were porpoises, right out, right outside, um, or maybe dolphin, I don't know, but uh, again, not quite quick enough with the camera, unfortunately. Oh, I can't see anything out of this porthole. It's just focusing on the salt, but they're there. Do you see them, babe? No. Like right, they were like right there. Oh yeah. Like my camera's literally just focusing on the salt, but yeah, I see it. I see them there. Oh wow. I don't think my camera's getting any of this, but there's like four of them. Harbour purpose. Yeah. Two. Two. Three. I'm so annoyed that we didn't get those common dolphin that I saw from the window. There were like four of them. They came out so far, they were so close to the boat. But yeah, my camera was just focusing on the salt on the window. And then they like crossed to the bit where you couldn't really see. If you guys could see what I saw with my eyes on this crossing, it would be a very good vlog, but I feel like I've got none of it on the camera. Okay, so if you're going to the Outer Hebrides and you're worried about spending too much money on a boat trip, just get the ferries back and forth as a foot passenger because it will be way cheaper and you might see more. I feel like we saw a lot of whales. We see, did see quite a lot of whales. So what did we see? So we came out of Stornoway Harbour, we saw mm. some harbour porpoise. Yep. I saw a minky whale immediately in the distance, you saw a minky whale. Mm -hmm. And then I saw what I'm convinced is a say whale. I don't think it was as big as a fin whale, but it was either a say whale or it was the biggest minky whale in the world. Two. You didn't see it, did you? No. But it was also pretty close to the boat. And we saw like something go down, remember? Like you, we saw like the part between the tail and the, the peduncle. The peduncle. But that was that was further up. Like before that, you saw some more harbour porpoise, and then you saw you said you saw something breach. Yeah, 
in like the you far said, distance. you saw water in the far distance, and then we saw two common dolphin who were coming towards the boat that I was convinced were going to ride the bow, but they didn't. They just disappeared. I think they just went under the boat, and then we saw another minky, and then I saw the the blow. You didn't see the blow, and then it was the peduncle. So I thought we were going to see a tail, but we didn't. Um, and then we went down for a bit. You got a sandwich, and I saw. Well, we both saw the common dolphin, but it was just the angle of the porthole and the salt on the window and the camera. The camera didn't see anything, I don't think. But we saw really clearly four common dolphin come out of a wave, like a face, eye, stripe, everything, like amazing. And then we went back up and we just saw some porpoise, right? True. That was really all we saw. And I definitely got some porpoise on this. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. We're frozen solid now, but we are in Ullapool and we are about to start moving. I've got um, my quavers for a snack here and we fed the dog, so we're ready to go. All right, Whiskey, we've been here before. We've been in this park before. When last year our ferry to the Outer Hebrides got cancelled, we came to Ullapool, which is where we are again. No, it's very pretty, ferry just docked. Paul is getting some petrol put into the car. There's the ferry over there. we we'll just come out to give this one a quick little sniff around, let him pee, and then we'll back to the car, get some water and the rest of his breakfast. So we're about halfway through the drive to Wick and I had on the itinerary to stop here at Dunrobin Castle because it's like a big fairy tale castle and walk whiskey in the gardens and have a nice picnic just saw on the sign that it says dogs are not permitted in the gardens either which I think is a bit shit and I'm also sure that I read online that the dogs could at least be outside so we'll go in and ask and I'll also try and find a toilet because I need to pee very badly We're not allowed in the gardens or the castle, but there is a walking route that takes this path all the way around the back that we're allowed to do, so we're doing that now. Okay. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful castles because if you think about like Edinburgh Castle or Stirling Castle, they're very much built like fortresses, if that makes sense. Like it's dark stone, they're very like chunky, you know? Whereas this one's more like fairy tale. It looks almost French, I feel. Let me just look into the history of it. It's very Beauty and the Beast. I always wonder about little cottages like this that are right beside huge castles or manor houses. Because I'm always like, who did they belong to? Was it the housekeeper? Was it like the groundskeeper's cottage? Like it's so nice. The lovely roses over it and everything. And it brings you right out here at the at the coast. Shall we sit on Mary and Bob's thank you seat? We can't really see the castle, but yeah, let's sit. No, let's sit on the bench. No, the bench will be nicer, and then we can see the castle after. No? Sure. Yeah, you want to have lunch? I'm starving. Me too. Been up since five, four, four thirty. We just saw a deer and uh, I only got it on my phone but since you guys didn't get to see uh, any of our wildlife sightings from the boat really, there you go. So what did you think of Dunrobin Castle? It was very pretty. It was very pretty and honestly I don't think we really missed out on like seeing the castle from not being in the gardens. Like, I think we got quite a good view of the castle. Mm -hmm. It would have been nice to go into the castle and also the gardens as well. And I've heard that they do a really nice audio tour. Like you can purchase an audio tour and it can tell you everything about it. Because I actually would like to know a little bit more about the history, wouldn't you? 
yeah. like of who lives there and because it's such a different looking castle to like the rest like of Scotland. I think it's like designed by a French person yeah. or like a guy from French castle. Let's Google it later. Yeah, I would actually really like to learn a little bit more about it. But when we came out, we drove, I should have filmed it, but we drove through the village. I think it was called Brosta, something like that. And we were both just talking about it in the car, like, oh, imagine what it would have been like, you know, leaving the castle and then going, this was the village they would have gone through because obviously it's all shops and businesses and stuff now, but it would have been houses, I assume. Um, but they're all like the old brick, the old stone, the exposed stonework. And then you drive a little bit more and then there's the church and then there's like the old school, which now isn't being used. And it's just funny to think like hundreds of years ago, how people, would have lived in those buildings and what their lives would have looked like. Peasants visiting. You alright there, love? Yeah, I'm just joking. You okay? Yeah. There's water. I don't know where the water is actually. I think we drank it all. No, it's fine. I'll just die. I think we offered all. I think some in your thing. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. And it's raining now. Amazing. So, just in time uh, for Paul to head to the beach to metal detect, it is raining. We made it to the top of the world. Not quite the top of the world. We made it to the top of Scotland. Hence why it's so bloody windy. Don't know if you can hear me. We are almost at John O'Groats. John O'Groats is just that way. And over there is Orkney. And here is where we're staying. We're staying in, technically it's the Crofter Snugs. They have these two little pods but we are staying in the shepherd's hut, which Paul is very excited about because he gets to build his own fire. So there is a little fire pit for outdoor firing enjoyment. And uh, you can also cook out here, apparently, they said. They have this, again, this is the second B&B, obviously the one in Lewis had it as well, if you watch those vlogs, a little dog run. And this one is significantly bigger. Um, and again, it's just to keep dogs and everything away from the livestock. So we can just head in this little gate and we can let Whiskey run around here, which I think he's really going to enjoy. And this is the shepherd's hut. So you can see the chimney. We have a wood-fired stove, which is in there. Uh, so we might actually cook some pizzas. And I'm gonna take you in and just let you have a little look and see what it's like. So we've got the welcome on the stairs. Here we go. And oh, I was expecting a dog to be there. Oh, he has moved. And husband has not moved. Husband is still on the bed. Are you falling asleep? I'm a bit tired, Jess. Is that okay? If you tell the vloggers that you slept uh, for like two hours in the car. I didn't sleep for two hours in the car. I slept for like an hour in the car. But yes, you have every right to be tired, baby. We were up at 4.30 this morning. But look at this beautiful view that you can fall asleep looking at. And we have a TV, which I'm very surprised about. It's the first yeah. first one we've stayed in that is the <laughs> smallest, but it has a TV. Um, and then we have these really nice, comfortable chairs, a little table, a little kitchenette. And here is the wood-fired stove, which I'm actually a little bit intimidated uh, to use, but we'll see how dinner goes. Through here is the bathroom. It's a bit of like a camping situation toilet, but... The shower is fully fitted and it is definitely tall enough to fit a Dutch husband and it's a waterfall shower. So yeah, and again, views for miles. But as you can probably tell from the vibes within this hut, we are very tired. So I am going to have a snack, I might have a nap, I'm just going to chill and I don't think I'm going to do very much the rest of the day but I might update you guys when we cook dinner just to see what goes on with the stove. I think Paul is going to be whale spotting from this window the Rolby. entire time. Rolby. But yeah, you could definitely see something. Rolby, Rolby. Look, Whiskey, where are we? Are we going to the little dog field? Are we going to the doggy field?
Disney tour that we originally wanted to do is £85 per person. It leaves from John O'Groats and it includes the bus tour and everything. So you get the ferry across and then the bus will take you over and then back. But they do not allow space for dogs. So we're still trying to figure out how we are going to get over to Orkney. You have to show me. Look, you can see the gauge go up a little bit. Is that what's that telling us how what the temperature is? Yeah, but it's just started, so it's just yeah. Starting. It's really weird to me that it doesn't smell like smoke. Like no. I thought it would smell like a fire in here, but it really doesn't. Oh. It's kind of like an aga, basically. I think. So yeah, we're gonna try the pizzas in the oven, and if they don't work, we can use the stove top. But she said this gets really hot. It's already really hot because obviously the fire is just underneath it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me try to not give us food poisoning. Pizzas are going in.